So we, 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 we've been doing this series, and this is the last of it, all right? So what, what I'm trying to do here is say, listen, we have to understand who we are. We have to get a, a, a sense of team spirit. Even, and, and the reason why uh, I really believe that the Lord is going to bless me even to preach this to other churches is because that's what's happening in the body of Christ. Yes. Amen. Yes. You take Newark, New Jersey right now. Newark, amen, we have over 800 churches in Newark. But listen, the thing is that a lot of us is in competition with each other. And we shouldn't be in competition with each other if we're going to do damage to the enemy. If we're ever going to, uh, amen, manifest this war, amen, which, do, see, first of all, we got to understand some stuff. The war has been already won. But because we're in competition with each other, amen, there's no manifestation of our victory. Am I making sense, Brother John? And so you need to understand something, amen, that we're not in competition with each other, amen. Amen. We're not in competition. I'm not in competition with you, Brother Bob. Amen. Hallelujah. Whatever you need, I'm supposed to help you with it. There's no way that I could have the victory, amen, and my family is suffering. There's no way that I could be in wealth and my family is suffering. Because the Bible says this, that if one rejoices, then we what? All if one, amen, is in sorrow, all, all in sorrow, amen. So we, we wanted to look at a couple of scriptures, amen. I don't have a whole lot of time, so I'm going to be like breezing through this because I got to go preach in Jersey City. Amen. <laughs> all right, so... But um, let's go over to Ephesians. Amen. I hope that you come. I, I always encourage people to bring their notebook. Amen. Because my church, our church services, not mine, but our church services is like a Bible study. Amen. I'm not here to hoop and holler. Amen. I tell folks I could do that. Matter of fact, I used to try to do that. Amen. I used to. Uh, and the Lord said, uh, He'll make you feel real good. Huh? Y'all don't know uh, what I'm talking about, uh, but I know uh, that the Lord is good to me. Uh, I met Him a long time ago. Uh, see, see y'all don't get, see y'all. Listen, <laughs> y'all don't get, y'all done started already. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all done started already. Amen. I'll make you feel real good. I'll satisfy your thirst. And all I said was a hamburger make you feel real good. And a Coke will satisfy your thirst. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all stand up and like, yeah, preach, master. <laughs> no, McDonald's is not paying us. <laughs> amen. So I've learned, amen, to just go ahead and, and just teach the word. Amen. I, I found out when I was going to school, amen. And uh, in Essex County College, amen, you know, and I was a feel-good person because I, I come out of addiction. And if anybody ever come out of addiction, they know about liking to feel good. 
you know. And uh, when I went to school, amen, and uh, the teacher didn't say, ah, and the second power is uh, equal to the third, to the third power. He didn't do all that. He put that thing on the board, and he placed it, and you got it, whether you felt good or not. Amen? So I, I realized that. Amen. In Ephesians, let's go over to the book of Ephesians, amen, the second chapter. Ephesians, the second book, second chapter, rather. Y'all should be very familiar with this scripture because I've been reading it for eight weeks now. Amen. Amen. Uh, Ephesians, the second chapter, the 18th verse. It says this, for through him we both have what? Access by what? One spirit unto the Father. So the scripture is saying, for through him, who's him? Jesus Christ, amen. We both have uh, access, amen. That means that we have, uh, we have ability to be in, amen. We have the liberty of having what Jesus had, amen. And, and we need to have that. Oh, God, help us. We really need to have that to, to, to really benefit from the kingdom of God. And, and my whole thing is that many of us, amen, and I said this last week, many of us, amen, we do not have what we should have from the kingdom of God. Many of us are eating or, or, or getting the leftovers, not even the leftovers, the crumbs, amen, from the kingdom of God. That's why in Isaiah, up here in Isaiah 119, it says that if you be what? Willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Many of you are not eating the good of the land. 